I'm 10 years old in Hackensack, New Jersey, and we sit down to the theater, the lights go down, onto the screen comes this man. Do you believe in ghosts? Some people believe in them, others do not. Personally, I do. He's in his office, talking directly to us, and explaining in the movie we're about to see, 13 Ghosts, we're gonna be using a ghost viewer, ghost remover. If you believe in ghosts, look through the red part. If you don't believe in ghosts, look through the blue. No one else ever talked to me from a movie screen before. Shall we go? I was born in 1950, so I grew up with Bill Castle pictures. Do you feel it is all right for your daughter to see this type of motion picture? If you lived in the United States and you went to the movies, you saw Bill Castle. Oh, it's good to see you again my homicidal friends. The first thing I remember was him climbing out of a coffin at the premiere of Macabre. I just wanted to be taken into William Castle's world and live there. Members of the audience, including you, will actually play a part in the picture. Going to see one of his movies was not just going to the movies. There was always something going on there. The tingler is in the theater. Bill Castle was a showman, and whatever he could add, at no great expense, he would add. This is the fright break. He was always looking for a gimmick. They had perfecto, they had illusion of emergo. I guess they had to have an O at the end. Give me your money, O. We are offering a money back guarantee. He developed a sort of a persona as the poor man's Alfred Hitchcock. Alfred Hitchcock is gonna have to go a long way to try and top something like this. The critics thought he was ridiculous and kids thought he was great. This time, uh, we have even a stranger tale to unfold. Oh, ah, blood. He wanted acclaim, he wanted recognition, and these films gave it to him. What was the most delightful piece of mayhem in the entire picture? He touched people in a really spine-tingling way. <laughs>